Aquí me meto. Bravo. Not the day. That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on a build that you guys have been asking me for and I haven't put this build out on my channel. This is the first time it's coming out. I did do a PvE version of it but today finally I'm going to bring you the PvP version that all of you guys have been asking especially if you've been watching my Twitch streams. If you haven't head over to twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills gaming. I'll leave a link down below. Remember that is how you guys can watch me live and if you want to watch me live it's free to do on Twitch. Twitch is a free app just like YouTube but it's more focused on streaming games and that's why I choose to stream over there versus stream over here so YouTube is for content and then Twitch is for streaming so if you guys want to catch me live remember it's twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills gaming thank you guys again for all the support without you guys supporting my channel watching my videos this wouldn't be possible if you're new to my channel this is the first time you're watching a video hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy this video hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions after watching this video use the comment section down below so let's get into the build so the first thing you're gonna notice is my primary firepower is 411,000, that's firearms at 6,500. My toughness is 498,000, that's stamina of 6,600. And then my skill power is 88,000, that's electronics of 2,900. Now, I'm running a six piece final measure. What does the six piece final measure do? So I'm gonna break it down for you for a lot of you new players and maybe even some of you returning players who haven't played the game in a while. Set bonus two is 25% exotic damage resilience. And what exotic damage resilience does is is it helps reduce the damage you take from predators mark bleed also flame turrets don't hit you as hard anything that's exotic damage anything that is exotic damage falls into this category so you get just from running a two-piece final measure 25% exotic damage resilience then you get set bonus three which gives you 15% protection from elites so that part is focused more towards PvE but if you're in the dark zone and you're running through the dark zone fighting players and some elite enemies or named enemies start shooting you this is where this will come into so you'll get that 15% protection to elites set bonus for final measure when in range of hostile grenades or mortars you diffuse them and it adds the grenades to your inventory this can only happen once every eight Eight seconds a lot of times in pvp people are throwing grenades any kind of grenade that someone throws you have a chance of catching those all you have to do is be within range you can scoop them off the ground you can catch them in the air sometimes people throw them right at me i catch them and every eight seconds this can happen so if one person throws a grenade and you catch it and the other person throws a grenade you won't catch that one unless it's eight seconds later set bonus five is going to give you that additional 15 percent exotic damage resilience so that's going to put you at 40 percent exotic damage resilience and then you're going to get an additional 15 percent protection from elites so that's going to put you at 30 percent protection from elites that's why this build is really good in pve but i'm showing you guys how you can play it in pvp and be really effective with it for set bonus six you get that improved final measure when a grenade is diffused the player and all group members within 30 meters gain a buff based on the grenade type that was diffused so if you diffuse an emp or shot grenade skill power is increased by 40 percent for eight seconds that's everybody in the group if you diffuse a frag or incendiary grenade weapon damage is increased by 40 percent for eight seconds and then a flashbang or tear gas armor is increased by 40% for 8 seconds so that's why this build works really good in PvP if you saw at the beginning of the video you saw how when I would catch a grenade and I started fighting someone right after I caught that grenade it was a wrap I would just melt them right down and they would just drop in front of me and I'm only running 6,500 firearms for the chest piece I'm running stamina it has health it has exotic damage resilience so I'm stacking an additional 10% exotic damage resilience on this build and then for the minor attribute I have 51% ammo capacity for the mods I'm running stamina mods with 1% critical hit chance. For the mask, it's rolled firearms. It has 4% critical hit chance and then it has 17% burn resistance. 
For the mods, I'm running stamina mods with 1% critical hit chance. For the knee pads, they're old stamina. The major attribute is health. The minor attribute is bleed, burn, and shock resistance. Now this is a perfect role for PvP on your knee pads. You want to have bleed, you want to have burn, and you want to have shock. If you can get those three roles on your PvP set, that is golden for knee pads. It doesn't always happen. I think this might be one of two that I have like this. It happens to be my final measure knee pads, and I think maybe my predator's mark has it too. But if you can get these three roles, bleed, burn, and shock, you're golden. And then of course, my major attribute for this one, I'm running health because I wanna have a little bit more toughness since this build doesn't have any kind of survivability like Nomad or Striker. I felt that stacking some health on here would actually help me out a little bit more than stacking some critical hit damage. For the mods, I'm running stamina mods with 1% critical hit chance, and then performance mod with 6% first aid self heal. For the backpack, it's road firearms. The major attribute is 8% critical hit chance, and then the minor attribute is 52% ammo capacity. This gear set is not fully optimized, and it works really good. One thing I did decide to do on this one, instead of running health on my backpack, I wanted to have a little bit more damage, so I stacked 8% critical hit damage because I don't want to stack any more firearms. I want to leave my stamina around 6,600 because I like having my toughness almost at 500 thousand for the mods i'm running stamina mods with one percent critical hit chance and then of course performance mod with six percent first aid self heal for the gloves the road firearms the major attribute is critical hit damage smg damage and critical hit chance this is how your gloves should always be rolled on almost every single build you have except your sniper builds and your pve builds but for your pvp builds you 100 percent should be running critical hit damage critical hit chance and then whatever weapon damage you're doing so if you're going to use an assault rifle smg lmg or marksman rifle that should be the type of damage you have on your gloves i'm running a house so i have smg damage for the holster the major attribute i went with was critical hit chance because i'm stacking as much critical hit chance as i can on this build since i already have a lot of exotic damage resilience and my health is already pretty good so i went with four percent critical hit chance which is the role that i go with a lot on my holster some of you guys might like that reload speed i prefer having a little bit more damage so i went with a four percent critical hit chance for the mods i'm running a performance mod with six percent first day self heal now if we get into the weapons i'm running the house you can choose to run any weapon you want some of you guys might like running an assault rifle i'm running the house because i have one that has the talents that i need for this build the critical hit chance on this house is 23 percent the base damage is 20.6k damage the talents that i'm running on this house that i think run really good with this build are deadly critical hit damage is increased by 15 percent responsive damage is increased by 10 percent when closer than 10 meters to the target and then of course card counter you guys know what it is i'm not going to read it out the way i have this modded is i'm running a pro red dot site with 18 percent critical hit damage six percent headshot damage and 2.5 critical hit chance i'm running a loud van break with 18 percent critical hit damage 6% headshot damage and 3% critical hit chance I'm running a small grip with 19% critical hit damage 4.5 reload speed and 4.5 optimal range and then I'm running an extended magazine with magazine size critical hit chance and rate of fire for my secondary I choose to run a lightweight m4 this has 24% enemy armor damage the base damage on it is 18.1k and the talents that I recommend running on all your m4s for pvp is unforgiving missing health segments increase your damage one missing segment is 10% extra damage two missing segments give you that 25% extra damage running dead lead critical hit damage is increased by 15 percent and running responsive in the bottom slot because that way it will be unlocked with all your builds including your 9k stamina builds so what responsive does is damage is increased by 10 percent when closer than 10 meters to the target now the way i always mod all my m4s is i run a little bit more critical hit chance on my scope some of you guys might want to run that pro red dot site but for me i like having that extra four percent critical hit chance so i'm going to run a reflex site with 7.5 critical hit chance four percent critical hit damage and six percent headshot damage i run a loud band break with 18 percent critical hit damage six percent headshot damage and three percent critical hit chance i run a small grip with 19 percent critical damage 2.5 stability and two percent accuracy and then of course i run an extended magazine with 113 percent magazine size three percent critical hit chance and 5.6 rate of fire for the skills you guys know me when i do run my pvp builds i always run a booster shot because i like the temporary increase of damage and damage resistance every time i pop it this is only going to heal me for 48,000, and it's going to come back every 51 seconds but i always pop this right before i go into battle if you watched any of my live streams or you watch any of my pvp gameplay i'm always popping my booster shot right before i go into battle that way i hit a little bit harder and then i always pair that up with an immune box some of you guys might run a different type of support station but if you guys don't already know support stations will heal you more if you're only running around 2800 electronics every time you drop this you explode it you'll heal up a lot more than your booster shot or your overdose that's why a lot of people run an immune box instead of running a heal some people like running a pulse instead of running a booster shot 
I prefer the booster shot and then I run the immune box. This comes back every 36 seconds. That's why it comes back a lot faster than your booster shot or your overdose. If you're not gonna run a booster shot or overdose, you might wanna run a different type of performance mod. Maybe healing speed on your support station might help you out a little bit more. You just have to decide what kind of mods you wanna run based on the skills you run. Now for the talent, since this build is made to run in a group, this is not a solo player build. This is a support role build. So this is made to run with a team. That's why you need to run triage. Heal an ally with skill to reduce skill cooldowns by 15%. You run critical save. Use medkits during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. You always run combat medic when you're running with a group. Use medkits near allies to heal the group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. And then of course I love running strike back reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. These are the talents that I really don't think you should switch out because this build is built to be around other players and built to be a support role player. If you guys are looking to be a straight damage DPS final measure and not even do any kind of support role and staying with your team, you're probably playing the wrong build. This build is made to pick up those grenades, keep your teams from getting staggered by the grenades, getting shocked, and that way, everybody in your team is gonna get that 40% boost based on whatever grenade type gets dropped. If we go into the character, you're gonna see my critical hit chance is at 50%, my critical hit damage is at 120% and my headshot damage is 62%. My toughness is 498,000. My max health is 340,000. My armor mitigation is at 31%. Now this build is not fully optimized. So if I kept fully optimizing, my toughness would go up. My armor mitigation would go up. I have 30% protection from elites. I have 50% exotic damage resilience. I have 29% bleed resistance. I have 47% burn resistance and I have 31% shock resistance. That's why this build is really good for PVP because of the type of resistance I have and then all that exotic damage resilience and being able to catch those grenades. Catching those grenades will save your team and having that six piece bonus where you're getting that 40% extra skill power or that 40% extra weapon damage or that 40% extra armor mitigation or getting that 40% extra armor increase, that is the difference between your team running through somebody in skirmish or last stand or even the dark zone. If you ran three guys running Nomad and you had a final measure every time someone would throw a shot grenade or a grenade, everybody will get that boost. Not only that, with having that much exotic damage resilience, that's gonna work really good towards a Pred Bleed. Yes, you're gonna get hit with it and yes, it's still gonna hurt, but it won't hurt as much because you're running 50% exotic damage resilience. And that's pretty much it guys. This is my build. This is the build that I love running. This is the build you guys been asking for this is the build that i think a lot of people are sleeping on this is the build i call the game changer because it is a game changer if you have somebody running this build with this amount of firearms this amount of stamina they still have toughness they can still put out a lot of damage and if they catch a frag grenade it's game over i highly recommend you guys trying this out if you guys have any questions remember use the comment section down below if you guys want to see me live twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills i do stream mondays wednesdays fridays 6 p.m eastern time and then saturdays during the morning so head over over there drop a follow turn those notifications on if you guys enjoy this video hit the thumbs up and if you're new and this is the first time you're watching the video hit that subscribe button and remember guys if you don't see me in last stand if you don't see me in skirmish if you don't see me in the dark zone it's only a matter of time nothing but skills out